Metadata is a term that applies to a variety of data situations. Broadly speaking, metadata is the idea of data that describes data. In a GIS context, this can mean basic facts about a data set, such as what the data set is, when it was created, where it was created, how it was created, and who created it. For example, you can consider a legend on a map to be a type of metadata. As the map legend tells you what the map means in terms of symbols, colors, and other information. Another simple way you might think of metadata is thinking of a can without a label. The label tells you what's inside the can. It's critical to understand why metadata is important. Having good metadata that allows you to describe and understand your GIS datasets is essential. Metadata can help you answer basic questions about GIS datasets, such as whether the data are good or bad, whether the data are appropriate for your use, and whether the data are compatible with other data that you may have. Let's next look at some specific ways that you can get this type of information from metadata files. GIS metadata files are generally text documents that describe a given GIS dataset. GIS metadata files come in a wide variety of file formats. In this example, the metadata file is an HTML file. GIS metadata files contain common information that I'll talk about next. Common sections of metadata files include the identification, or what is the data set, data quality, or how was the data created, spatial data organization, or how is the data represented, such as vector, points, lines, and polygons, or raster grid cells, or some other format. Spatial reference, or how is the data spatially referenced in terms of coordinate systems and projections. Entity and attribute, or what does the data show, and what are the attributes associated with each feature in the data set. Distribution, or how to acquire the data in terms of a person, organization, and contact details, and the metadata reference, or who created and documented the metadata and their contact information. Next, let's talk about finding geographic data. A very important skill to learn is how to use the internet to find GIS data. In the United States, most states have GIS clearinghouses, which often allow free access to public GIS data. At the US federal level, spatial data infrastructures or SDIs, such as geoplatform.gov, provide access to a wide variety of GIS and other data produced by the US federal government. Now, depending on where you live, you may need to do some hunting on the internet to find the right GIS data sets for your project. Always be sure to look for metadata that describes the data sets and make sure that the GIS technology you are working with can use those data sets. So let me briefly show you some of the websites I use for finding GIS data sets in the laboratory exercise. So let me show you now how to go about finding some geographic data on the web. One of the most straightforward things you can do is do a simple Google search so in this case, I'm interested in the Bahamas, and you can see I've already done a search on Bahamas GIS data in Google. And looking at some of the results that come back, I see down here, for example, catalogdata.gov. And this is from the United States. Now, this is a good example of some possibly interesting data sets 
but not necessarily spatial data sets, at least from what I'm seeing initially, HTML files, document files, ASCII, and so forth. So I can also look for indicators like this, geospatial, And a lot of this really doesn't seem relevant to the Bahamas, at least without further searching. So I'm going to go back to my initial Google search. And right at the top, Bahamas, gov.bs. I'm honestly not that familiar with the Bahamas as a country. And here you can see this website the Bahamas National Geographic Information Systems. And again, I'm not really familiar with Bahamas as a country, but from what I'm seeing, this seems to be the website for GIS in their country. Now, if I'm looking to find data sets, I want to look for things like accessing metadata, accessing geographic maps, and so forth. So if I click here, accessing geographic maps, You can see here members of the general public can access the library of maps. And this tells me what kinds of maps they have, subdivisions, street maps, oil exploration, and so forth. And if I wanted to go through the process, I have to go to this map publications link. And following this link leads me to this map publications, public domain, doesn't really give me a lot of links that I can follow. And if you see here, works in work in progress. So I'm sure that if I wanted to spend the time really contacting people through this website, I probably could find something, but I'm doing my initial search. So I'm going to keep looking back on the web. I'll make note that this is out there, but let's see what else I can find. And I'm going to go back up on my Google search. Now here is a website that I personally am very familiar with, and I use it later in these videos, the Humanitarian Data Exchange. And if you're doing GIS projects at the global scale, definitely check out this resource because it has data sets from all over the world. And it's got a nice clean interface. And if you look here, Geodata, you can see that they have a variety of potentially relevant data sorts. Here we have roads, buildings, points of interest. These come from OpenStreetMap and so forth. Later when I do the hands-on demonstration in the, these videos, we'll actually use this particular website and we'll download these data sets. But here we see too, they have metadata available for you. And this is an example of a reliable, easy to use data source. Now in terms of raster imagery this is a website that's provided by NOAA from the United States and NOAA for certain types of disasters will actually go out and collect imagery and they've done a lot of really great data sets for a lot of recent disasters so if you were to back up on this URL you can see all the different um, imagery that they're going to have So for my case study of the Bahamas, this is very powerful imagery in showing you the destruction that happened from Hurricane Irma. As you can clearly see, buildings and other um, basically destruction that was done. These are blue tarps that are put over roofs. And if you want to go ahead and search through this, you have different dates from when they collected imagery and they've got a nice, easy to use download where you basically download sets of images based on the day that you're interested in. Now, these are actually massive files that you download. Um, some of these are about a six gigabyte zipped compressed amount of files. But later in these videos, I'll talk about this. But. This was just a quick overview of how to go about finding geographic data on the web. 
Sometimes you're going to find websites that seem promising, but don't really lead you to anything of usefulness. Sometimes you'll find really great websites like the Humanitarian Data Exchange that will have very good data with good metadata that's easy to download and so forth. Hi, this is Brian Tomaszewski. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification icon to stay up to date on new videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.